I've swum with great whites, tiger sharks, bull sharks, you know, the three most deadly sharks in the ocean. And I've never been in a cage. I've also never been hunted, lunged at, chased back to the boat, or been shown any signs of aggression. You know, this isn't a Steven Spielberg movie. Now, there's a lot of misinformation out there. These killers of the deep, these bloodthirsty man-eaters are nothing like the tales we've heard. And they're also nothing like the stories we hear in the media and in Hollywood. They're way smarter than we give them any credit for. And like every other animal in the food chain, they eat certain things and they have particular tastes. And I can say with certainty that humans are not on that list. Globally, sharks kill five people each year. Let that sink in. Across the globe, these bloodthirsty man-eaters of the deep kill and fatally attack five people. Now, you may be saying that non-fatal attacks are far higher, but that number is as low as 64. Believe it or not, vending machines kill the same amount of people each year as sharks do after people kick them out of anger. Ants kill more than four times as many people, jellyfish eight times, lightning strikes over 200 times more, and freshwater snails are whopping 3,260 times more people. You get the point, our fears are misplaced. These animals are smart enough to realize that we are not on their food list. And it's because of this misplaced fear that these animals have in many ways lost our respect. Governing bodies, instead of protecting these animals, are pushing them further and further to the brink of extinction. Without sharks, the ocean and fish life would be left unchecked, and this would lead to massively altered population sizes and diversity in all marine life and marine species, and this would eventually lead to the collapse of the entire ecosystem. You can't simply remove an apex predator from an environment and expect it to be business as usual. Shark populations are at a tipping point and every year more and more sharks are added and listed as critically endangered species. We need to do more. And this starts with you. Our actions in and around the water matter. It's time to take responsibility.